dokie. Hopefully we're all live and everything goes well. We shall see. Do 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 do. so good. And there we go. All right. Well, for those of you who will be looking at this video a little bit later, my name is Anthony Gray and welcome to the live at the time version of a grayscale painting. And what you see in the box to your lower left is a paper plate filled with Heavy Body Acrylic Paints Academy uh, brand um, Grumbacher paint. Okay. Um, I got Burnt Umber Cad Yellow Sap Green Phthalo Blue uh, Processed Magenta and Titanium White going from here over here. Okay. Alrighty then. So, as you can see, I got a 16 by 20 canvas here uh, shaped pretty much like a thin window pane of some sort I'll do a general uh, landscape scene and we're gonna just uh, get started all right okay the uh, glass of water which I'm gonna move back to its normal spot and then I got my vegetable glycerin which is what I just had in my hand there glycerin just helps the paint flow blend move uh, along better it works great with thick heavy body paint all right okay dokey so let's get this party started I'm gonna dip my two inch flat into the glycerin you need very little of this stuff all right now like I say I'm on canvas here so when I put on the brush I can move it straight to the other side all right because a lot of this glycerin if you see you put too much on you can move it around to other spots and just work it right into the canvas there now canvas operates by the um, the temperature of your room so if it's a little cool the glycerin will stay kind of wet longer if you got if your room is fairly warm you might want to work a little briskly all right but all it does really is just it just um, it just um, keeps the paint moving and flowing along. I don't think I need any more below these two. Uh, hey, a cup of tea in five minutes for you. How you doing? I don't need to move this glycerin much past that bottom frame. I don't think, but that remains to be seen. All right, let's take the smallest amount of phthalo blue, and I mean a small amount. A phthalo and we'll just put it right here for right now something like that down there all right and I guess I'll <clears throat> put it up to pretty dark in the corner here and I'll just have it travel down like that and do some haphazard stuff I think I'll keep that bare up there and I'll just let that do whatever you need very little uh, of that stuff okay um who knows I may put something down here I think I don't have any glycerin here I should have, but I don't. I'm going to dip a little bit of glycerin, just a little wee bit. Just a wee bit. And I'll just put it down here like this. Just like that. I might use this. I might not. Who knows? But I'll just put it down here anyway. It don't matter. All right. Now, here's the difference. I put glycerin on after I put the paint on. Here, I put the glycerin on first and then put the paint on there. Now the glycerin right now, right now this very minute is starting to spread and expand this paint. That's why you got the soft edges. It's starting to spread out. Okay, okay. Let's take a soft blender brush for right now. I'll show you to you on the lower left hand the screen. Just a makeup brush I got from Walmart. That's all. Um, I really don't have to mess with that. That's just there. Let's concentrate from the, from the top. We'll just take the glycerin, we'll, or, um, take the brush, and what I'm going to do is just fade out the streak marks. Just make them nice and smooth. That's 
basically about it. And you can do it in a circular motion. I'm used to doing it in a, you know, doing this in a circular motion. It's just me, what I prefer. It's what I like. So I'll just get the streak marks out. Circular motion. Now this is canvas, so I can I can press a little bit and really manipulate and move this stuff around. All right. And once I'm done doing all it, it looked like a sky with a few clouds trying to work its way in there a little bit. But like I said, I'm just getting rid of the streak marks. That's all. All I'm doing. General pattern and general shape of what I'm looking for is already there. I'm just, say, just moving the paint around. Interesting little spots and spaces and designs and such. A thin amount of the glycerin is all you need for this paint to move around and do what it's doing. That's all. Now, as you can see, when I stir it around, you see it's starting to expand again. Okay, and that's what it's supposed to do. And that's what it's supposed to do. I did not prime my canvas. I usually don't. Some people think, you know, it's a dead fast rule. Prime your canvas, prep your canvas, whatever. It's up to you, really, what you want to do. Um, whatever kind of suits you, more or less. I'm just spreading this stuff out. Just crisscross strokes, just smooth out stuff. Just like that, and smooth it out. Don't worry about the streaks make, being made by the brush, because it's just going to do nothing but blend and expand anyway. Okay. That's all it's going to do. It's no big deal. Just like so. Just. I'll leave it alone after this. Just leave it be. I'm just wiping off my uh, brush. I got a large beach towel on my lap here. Um, I have a couple of them, as a matter of fact, and I just use them just for painting. Um, when they get ratty enough, I just wash them really well, and you know that's that. I come down here, I can s smooth some of this out like this. I'll just do it. No rhyme or reason right now. I'll just flatten it out, and I'll just kind of wisp it to the side like this. No big deal. We'll leave that alone. Okay. Once I get. Um, Hello Madonna, hello JCT, Celeste, hello, how are you? Once I get um, down here, then I'll pay more attention to it. But right now I'm just concentrating up here. Okay. Okay, dokie. Let's get our flat brush once more. Let's go into this titanium white. Now, I'm not going to really tint the titanium white because of the blue that's already on here. And I'll just pop in some interesting looking stuff just like this. Just like that. Have it come into that blue a little bit. Get some more. I'm just getting it on the on the tip of the brush. Okay. I'll come here and do something like that. Leave it be. Get some more. Let's work on the other side over here. And I'll just take it and I'll just plop it over here. Just like that. Plop some down there. Generally we just where the the where you see the white of the canvas and such. I'll just put them in there. Okay. Really just push it in there just like that I'll let the mop brush do the rest of the work for me I'll just beat it up put it in there just like that alright um, all the steering you hear is just me cleaning off the brush alright hello Beverly how are you yes I have a beater rack and that's what you're hearing because the microphone is on the side of the beat it rack so that sound is probably quite disturbing to you but be prepared you're gonna hear it often okay same concept I'm gonna stir this white paint around it's gonna pick up the thalo blue okay and we're just gonna have a little fun I just want to once again get rid of the street marks now I can shape the clouds to whatever I want if I want to have little streaky things going through it like that stuff like that okay the more you blend the softer it will become and the further back it will appear okay see it's picking up that blue in there okay let's uh since we're concentrating on that maybe I'll zoom in a little bit oh uh, something like so I'll do it per window pane maybe that'll be a little easier and then once again like I say, it's picking up that blue. I like it kind of soft on the bottom. 
uh, when it gets up to the top you can kind of freak it out there and mess with it a little bit just like that I don't necessarily want to have it all flat and all one color put some values in there just by doing what you um, see me doing here okay and then I can just lightly see that so it just disappears in there I can have this one go a little further back too just stuff like that come up here let's go to the other window pane let's switch it over here like that so you guys can pretty much see what I'm doing here come up here to the top a little bit I still want to blend it on the bottom when I come up here on the top I can just kind of wisp it out and play around with it like I said I'm not really here down here I'll get it more blended I'll just keep <coughs> keep on it <coughs> but up here I'll just wisp it and let it float around a little bit play around with it here and there just like that down here I can have it kind of fade away so you're getting all sorts of values and stuff happening here just like an actual cloud it looks a little bleached out here because the light is right there up above okay but that's what we're what we get what we're getting at right there we'll see how that looks so far and none of this is totally white because it's got the blue tinted all through it but in your mind's eye it just sees white when it's actually light blue and you're gonna see that a little bit later on in this painting that the old guy knows what he's talking about <laughs> for those of you who are new I like to talk a lot of junk and tease a little bit but we all have fun here yes it is acrylic paint um you guys weren't here uh, in the very beginning but yes I work with Academy um, Grumbacher Academy acrylic paint thick paint all right um, burnt umber cad yellow thalo or uh, sap green thalo blue process magenta and titanium white I work with a very small palette because I gear a lot of my art towards people who are either new to painting acrylic painting or um, beginners you know or maybe a, a painter that um, just want to try out different things something new okay but that's basically um, why I do what I do and why I work with such a small palette because you can kind of mix any color you pretty much have your mind set to mixing to be honest with you alright let's get a uh, three-quarter inch brush here this blue brush right here alright okay <clears throat> let's see here let's go into a little bit of white I'll just put the colors right here a slight dab of the blue just like that maybe a touch more white I don't really necessarily have to add any glycerin or anything to this because it's already here okay all right let's um, let's do one of these numbers um, Let's, let's put one right here. We'll put it right here. You see how light that is? That's on purpose. And we'll trail it off like that. It is that light on purpose because I want the mountain to appear to be quite a ways away. All right. Put it right in there. Just like that. Make it look like it's, it's you know, it's out there small 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 dab of uh, the blue all right and we're gonna just keep on moving here just like that just like so and we'll kind of bring it bring it down bring it right down just like that bring it right down there mm, let's add more of a kind of a peak to it if they're smooth it turns into a hill if they're a little ragged it turns into a mountain I want kind of a, a mountain feel for right now for this guy something like that just smooth it out a little bit 
Okay, so you guys should be able to somewhat see that. Let's pull back a little bit. And let's raise it up a little, just like that. Okay, so that's where we're, we're, where we're at right now with that. Okay. I don't necessarily have to add all anything much further down here. But we're going to paint like these are not even here, the tape. Okay, we're going we're gonna to paint through all of that. You follow me? Okay, we're going to, like I say, I'm going to just move it right along here. We'll add, we'll get a small flat brush. We'll add a little bit of mountain texture in there. Just a, a little bit, uh, just get a little dab of blue and put it in there like that. Okay, I could tease a little bit of brown in it, but uh, no. We'll keep it fairly light. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the... <clears throat> Take the side of the brush. I'll come down here. You guys will get it down here a little bit if you guys can see it. I'll just take that blue, the side of the brush here. All right. Now remember, it's got a little glycerin on it, so it's gonna be kind of slick. Okay. If I have to go a little heavier with the paint, I will. But for right now, we'll try it out. And then I'll just kind of use the side of the brush, and you're just gonna brush some gentle little shadings of stuff, just like that. Start it on one side of the mountain, whatever it's gonna be represented as the dark side. All right. Just stuff like that. Alright. I'm going to get some more of this nice dark bluish color here. Darker color. And we'll, we'll keep on playing with it. Just like that. And we'll come on down. Way down here a little. And we're just fooling around with a little texture here and there. Just like that. Alright. Now. <clears throat> as I'm doing this. Maybe it makes sense to you, maybe it doesn't. Let's get that one coming down there like that. Interesting, just interesting little shapes and patterns. Okay, come over here. I'm going to do a few of that dark stuff in here like that. Yes. Alright. Get a little dab of blue and put it in there. Mix it right in there pretty good with that white. And we're going to continue. We'll have something come around in here like this. Mm, something around in here. And, oh, it's like that. Bring some of that down there like this. Now watch what I'm going to do after I'm done with this. Okay. Because I want it just to be... Uh, a little tiny hint of something, but nothing too, too, uh, too uh, thrilling. Let's get a little bit of light blue, really light. Get some titanium white. Put it in there. Put it in there. Pretty light. You don't want it to be completely white, but you want it, you know, to show that there's at least a um, some kind of a a shiny uh, part to this guy. I'm not gonna over exaggerate or anything like that. Just just a little bit here and there. Just in, in little patches. Just like this. It gives the mountains back here um, a look of having some 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 height to it, okay. But I'm being very, very selective, very coy about it. Alright. It doesn't have to be all in detail. Which is why I'm doing it this light. Alright. Just to give the impression that these guys are quite a mini a mile away. All right, paint right through that tape. Act like that tape is invisible. Don't pay any mind to that tape. All right. Mmm. Kind of. What I'm doing right now, what you see me doing is I'm kind of outlining the shape of this fellow with this with this white. And as I do this, I'm wearing away some of that stuff on the bottom here. Let's, let's give it a little, little dip right there. And have it kind of like the letter U. Alright. You don't need too much. Now I'm going to take my blender brush. And very softly, and I mean very softly, I'm going to kind of... Smooth 
smooth some of this stuff out just a little bit especially down on the bottom to smooth it out you don't want to make it totally disappear but you're just gonna smooth some things out here mellow it now I might not want the mountains to be as sharp so I'm going into the sky just a little bit just tap it just to um, fade out those the, um, the ridges of the mountains the silhouette just kind of just a little bit if you have a smaller um, mop brush you can you can get away with doing it or bring some of your sky into your mountain that'll also help it out too I want them in there but not blatantly just soften it a little bit that's all you know that they're there but because of the coloring they're way way back yonder somewhere all right okay that's all all right so we've got that pretty much um, done let's let's get a little crazy because we're gonna make sure these mountains are way back there okay let's get a little bit more blue we'll put the blue right here all right oh you know what maybe just a touch of that red we'll stir it up a little bit get a little bit of this umber darken it up there okay all right let's make sure that that mountain's way back there so we're going to do one of these numbers something like that and bring it down there this is just nothing but a whole dark mountain color right here now remember there's no glycerin up here there's no glycerin it's glycerin here okay but nothing down here but I'm just gonna just establish a nice little base of a larger mountain hill thing right in here and we'll there like that and we'll just kind of smooth it out remember there's no glycerin down here nothing no glycerin no nothing so we'll dip a little bit of glycerin in there. I'll wipe some of that off. I don't need too much. And I'll just come down here, just like that. And we'll just put some of that. All it does is thin out the paint a little bit. Just like that. Now that mountain's far away now, isn't it? All an illusion, fellas and ladies. All an illusion. Just like so. Okay. Okay. All an illusion. Just an illusion. Okay, let's get a little bit of white. Using the same brush. Alright. Do I like Bob Rossi? Yeah, um, that's how I learned, actually. When I first started to get into painting, I was an oil painter. And, um, I've got all 400 episodes of Bob Ross and that's who I learned from that was the only one at the time that I knew um, that could paint like that and I wasn't really up on many painters when I was um, starting to paint so Bob Ross was very prominent up here in New York um, as far as TV artists goes um, PBS would primarily show Bob um, to be honest with you, I didn't really know of anybody else until I got more into um, painting and start hearing other names online and stuff. And I started looking for certain artists, Jerry Arnell and, uh, of course, William Alexander, and um, the other guy that comes to my mind right now, um, Warren, Robert Warren, who's incredible. I'm just fading out that lighter area here. Okay, just get a little gentle bit of mist. I'm just smoothing out stuff, especially where it's darker and it comes comes a little lighter. And that's all I'm doing. Look, X strokes. After you do the X strokes, and then you know you just kind of very soft brush, the same mop brush, and I'm just blending it out here. Okay, and pretty much keep that light stuff here. Just like that. Alright. 
Just like so. All right. How you doing, Shelly? Welcome to the club. Just having a little fun. All right. Let's get rid of. Let's get rid of some. Well, no, I don't want to necessarily get rid of the dark stuff. Let's add some of this white into the dark stuff like that. Scrape it around with my pet out knife. I'm going to need a tad more titanium white. So we're establishing a little sense of depth and all of that good stuff. Okay, let's get a little, little bit of titanium white, just like that. Um, we're going to get a small amount of this dark umber here. We'll put that in there. We'll gray it out a little bit. pretty good like nice and thin swath of color just like that there's a few different ways to do um crackiness for your mountains and whatnot and i guess i'll do it the uh, the bob ross way for a little while anyway we'll just take this get a swipe up across i don't know if you can see it down here i'll put it right there there's a little swath of color there right there okay uh I guess I got the light side coming on the left, but with this ledge looking cliff thing here, um, we'll make it kind of ambiguous. And But I'll start right from here, and, and you notice I'm holding it. No, you can't notice. Uh, if you notice, I'm holding the uh, little knife like this. Let's move this up a little bit so you guys can see everything. Oh, let's slide it that way. I'm holding the knife like this, not like this. If you hold it like this, if you hold it like that, you inadvertently, let's bring it down here, you guys can see, you're, you're bending the thing. I'm exaggerating it, but that's the weight you're putting on it when you do it that way. All right. Keep it like this. All right. All right. And we'll take it. Well, every, uh, Shelly, every Wednesday, usually it's 7 o'clock, but I decided to go an hour earlier. See how, it, how that works out. Um, and then I get pretty antsy, so... Um, I just get bored. I end up going to sleep by the time 7 o'clock comes around. We're going to take that, that knife and that little bit of color very lightly, very lightly. It takes a little practice. And we're going to take it and you're going to slide that paint right off. Just like that. You see it start to, you see it start to break? You see that, that, that breaking apart there? That's what you're looking for. That's what you want to try to get. All right. And we're going to come on down. Go right across the tape. Don't, don't make no big deal. No, no big mess. No fuss about it. We'll take some of this and we'll just kind of come on down with it like that. Bring it on down. Bring it down there. Bring some that way. Don't get rid of all of your dark. Okay. And we'll bring it down there like this. Have some of it travel that way. Just like that. I need a little more titanium white. I need a touch more of stalo blue. touch more of that brown gray it up a little bit need more brown gray it up some more need more brown and blue actually so I'm just giving it a touch at a time just to bring it back to the similar color that I had before just like that just keep stirring it in there now once I got it in there like that just take it pretty thin pretty thin going across like that swipe across Okay, and we're just going to continue with the joy and the love, and we're going to keep on coming on like that. We're going to come on the other side, way up here, go right across, just like that. Just go on down with it, just like that. Come on down like this, keep on moving it, just like that. But you guys can kind of see what's going on with it here. A little thick. I'll just take it and drag it up here a little bit. Boom. Come on down. Go right across that tape. Don't worry about the tape. Have no fear but the little tape down there. We keep bringing it down like that. Okay. I like the way that looks. And we'll kind of bring some of that down in here like that. Just like that. Keep playing with it. <coughs> Let's get a little more titanium white. Now what I'm going to do, the brighter your color is, the less of it you need. You follow me? Let's get a little more titanium white. 
brighten it up a little bit. Still keep it in the vein of that color. I'm just making the value brighter. Now, you already have paint on here. So what's going to happen with this is that this paint, that little roll of paint, is going to come off on the raised areas of your previously laid down paint. So you're going to let the, the palette knife work for you. You don't work. All right. Oh yeah, this is the uh, the Bob Ross special. All right, I have a few of them. Okay, this is actually the smaller one. Oh, come here. That's the bigger one. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Oh, uh, we got the lighter side of um, the mountain on the on the left side. So we'll concentrate on the left side. Okay. So we'll make little. Um, yeah, I'll do it this way. We're gonna have the one. We're gonna have to sharpen up the edge of the mountain. Okay, so very lightly, very lightly, just run on the top of the mountain there, and we, then we'll we'll concentrate on that left side, just like that. Okay, we we'll bring a little bit of it down there, but not too much. We'll concentrate on spreading the love on the left side, just like that, and you can take it, and curve it, and go whatever way you want to go with it. All right. Same thing here. Just take it and have a little fun. And I'll, I'll just do it this way. Come on down right there. And we'll put a couple of them in there, like, like that. All right. And we're just concentrating on the left side of the mountain. We'll kind of bring a little, a little bit of that love over there, like that. Over here, same thing. I'm just getting little small swipes of paint. We're going to outline this a little bit. Outline it. But continue the mess around on the left side of the mountain there, like that. Bring it down there. Like so. Don't have to really be too crazy with the um, the interior. Just the, just the little bit of the outside in there, like that. Just outline it a little bit, even on the tape. All right, even though you know the tape's gonna get peeled away, but it shouldn't matter. Act like the tape is not there. All right, but there. Once again, now, if you see, that mountain is way back there. You follow me? Okay. All right. Let's go back down here, in this area here. Let's take Mr. Two inch brush again. And we're just gonna kinda tap some of that. Just tap a little bit. Right here on the bottom. We're gonna kinda blur it out a little bit. Just a little bit, like that, okay? Everything that you see me doing is is a pattern to it. Alright, that's all. I'm just going from the bottom, going up into the mountain. From the bottom, up, bottom. Fade it, fade some of that. Go up into the mountain. Then you just take it, X strokes, fade it on out. Now I can get away with this being a little rougher because remember, there's no glycerin down here. It's in the paint a little, but not necessarily all down here in the bottom where you see me doing all of this. Just like so. Okay. All right. Let's keep this ball rolling. Let's get what's left of the titanium white just need a little bit of it it's all right okay and we're just gonna tap some stuff in there we'll just use this we'll just use a brush and remember there's no glycerin so i can just rub it right in there instant mist instant fog instant hazy stuff okay when you on your paint journey have have fun with it let's get a little more titanium I tend to use up the titanium white a lot. Uh, someone was asking me what type of paint I use. I'll just show it to you right here. Big screen. That. Alright, that's what I use. Alright. Just get a little bit, just a little bit of titanium white. Just a little bit. Alright. Go down below. Because it might be a little thick. Go down below, then come up here. 
go down below as you see I'm turning it and twisting it no matter go on, even into your mountain a little bit okay let's scrape some of that and let's borrow it and bring it up here just like that so we're just borrowing stuff let's borrow some of that and bring it back up in here like that let's get a little bit more now we're going to have depth in, in, in the uh, mist let's bring some up in here like that just like that okay and we'll best bring it back down don't have so much fear when you're doing this alright have a good time play with it in here I'm just using see all this thickness here we're, that's what we're using to kind of soften up this stuff now as you see me do this and I think you can hear the brush right I'm not taking it let's do an example right here I'm not taking it and doing one of these numbers alright that's not what I'm doing very gentle very gentle very gentle just like so keep some of those values that's why you can you see the values between that and that from between this and this keep that all right stuff like that will guarantee you a nice little paycheck if you decide to sell these things all right so remember this is not that movie of the guy with the knife in the shower scene re re no, no don't do it that way then you just take it and you just softly just blend it the more you blend the more it blends in to the other paint so you're just fading it out of there okay that's all and you got movement and all sorts of that good stuff going on in there fade some of that too up in there just like that okay all right you're a beginner what is glycerin and what does that do Hold on. Hold on one second. <laughs> Alright. Vegetable glycerin. One, believe it or not, it's edible. You can look Google it. Um, vegetable is just pure stuff too. Um, this is a quart. I got a gallon of it. A pint. This is a um oh uh, no, this is a quart. This is one quart. Uh, I got a is uh, I got a gallon of it down on the floor. What it does, uh, one time long ago, this used to, used to be a, an ingredient in, in acrylic paint, as a matter of fact. Don't know if they use much of it now. They might use other stuff. But what it does is just thins your thick. You're going to, um, it thins the paint. Okay. It makes it transparent, but it doesn't unbind the paint. It just makes it more and more transparent. It does not make your paint lighter. It does not make your paint darker. And when I put it on the board like this, it just lengthens the drying time of acrylic paint because acrylic paint dries so ridiculously fast. So it just slows it down. That's that's all it does. So if you're an oil painter, you think of it as liquid clear or liquid white. All right. And I do have my equivalent to liquid white right here. And it's just um, it's just um glycerin and craft paint all right I will use it just like liquid white okay but I do have some there well that's basically what I use it for now I can put it on the canvas like this and then add the color or I can just dip my brush in the glycerin and then add it to the paint either way all right but be very sparing with it because it 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 takes um, a little while for this stuff to to dry and it when the paint is placed on this or when it's mixed in it tends to expand okay so when you would see streak marks and all of a sudden the streak marks look a little fuzzy that's because it's drying but it's setting before it dries and, and basically that's all it does okay okay I don't know why this person texted me I told them that I was going live how quickly they forget send me nothing but silliness that I'm not going to pay attention to alright okay we're going to move right along here uh, okay let me clean off my mop brush one second here these um, now I have one that's um, I'll show it to you I got a natural hair and a um, 
synthetic hairbrush. I'll show them each one to you. This one here in my hand right now is a natural hair. Oh, never mind. I threw it away. I didn't go in my box and get another. Oh, no, 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 no. Here you go. Synthetic. Synthetic. Natural hair. Okay. Synthetic. Natural hair. But they're both extremely soft. All right. It doesn't take long for this to dry either. You rinse it out real good, give it a couple of shakes, and um, <laughs> it'll be ready to go for your next pass. Okay. With acrylic paint, um, you're going to have to dry your brushes often because you really don't want that stuff getting uh, dry in the furrow of the brush. That's just lead to a whole bunch of heartache. Um, take it from me. Trust me, I wouldn't lie to you about that. Let's uh, mix some dark colored. I'll do it with the um, I'll do it with the palette knife. Let's get a little bit of this umber. Put it right there. Let's get a little bit of this um, magenta. We'll put it right there. Let's get some blue. Put it right there. All right. Now we're gonna mix all that together. This would actually make a very good mountain color, but it's, it's and it also would make a uh, um, an amazing shadow color if you put if you mix up uh, because you can glaze with glycerin so if you add more glycerin to, to paint it turns into an awesome shadow color all right and a nice glaze and if you look on some of my paintings on YouTube there in my painting section that um, you'll see a lot of um, uses I have for the glycerin That's pretty decent enough for a dark color there. All right, we're going to start. No, no. It actually works as both, as a blender and a, and a, and a retarder. Okay. It, it works, as, works as both. But that's what I use it for, cause I got a, I got a, um, I got a jar of the golden, um, stuff. I even have some here. Oh, uh, where is it? Right here. I don't use it too much, cause I'm just used to the. Um, here it is. All right. So I got a tube of it here. I just don't use it, because I'm used to working with glycerin. I know what it does, and I, I like the effect. Um. And if there's a downside to anything, it's that you just have to wait a while for it um, to just totally dry. When it is totally dry, it will become um, flat looking like um, the rest of the painting because acrylic doesn't have a sheen to it. All right. Um, glycerin is very reflective. All right. So that's basically it. Oh, uh, I don't know if I should either move it up or just move it back let's move it back a little bit here okay we'll work with um because we're gonna bring everything forward all right so we're gonna I'm thinking I'm thinking yeah I'll do that before I do any of that hold on for one second let's just do this now I don't know if I'm gonna use all of this but I'm gonna do it right now just because I'm thinking about it right now in my mind I'm taking some glycerin and I'm gonna just come here, just like this, right now, right to the bottom. I'm not worried about rubbing in the paint, rubbing out the paint and all of that. I'm not worried a, a, a stitch about that. All right, I'm gonna just put it right here. As you can see the line right now, okay? Just like that. I'll take some of that off of there and just rub it in there like that. Just like so. Don't worry about all of. Don't worry about that. Okay. I just want to place the glycerin. This doesn't matter. All right. I'm just putting it on here right now. So let's go this high, so you guys can see what I'm gonna do here. All right. Let's take a little bit of. Yeah. Take a little bit of titanium white. We'll place it there, right here. Something like around here somewhere. Don't even know if I want to use all of this. Who knows? 
be out of switch. I'm going to take a little bit of phthalo blue. I'm going to come here to the corner, just like that. Now I'll just bring it right in here, put it right into the white like that. All right. So it's dark here. Gets a little lighter there. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Go look, get a little dark blue right here. Just dark, 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 dark. It gets lighter by itself. Just like something like that. All right. Okay. Just cleaning off the brush. Like I say, I might use this. I might not. But I know that once I get it done, it's there. No, it does not, because you don't plan on eating it, Beverly. Or Shelly, is that Shelly? Yeah, it doesn't have to be, no. Let's go from the light middle, just like that. And we'll, oh, I'll work on this side. We'll just go out like this, just like that. All right. Smooth it right on out, just like that. <coughs> now, if you go from the obviously light part, you, you obviously got to clean your brush off pretty good so you don't contaminate with blue. And we're going to do it again, just like this. Just like that. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's clean this brush off one more time. This is kind of my go-to brush. My mic wire is uh, right over my bucket. <laughs> I almost yanked the mic right off my ears. So let me do something to prevent that. Hold on one second. I should have thought of that before. <laughs> okay, that would have been a moment for you guys to see. Let's take the same brush. Um. I guess we'll raise it up a little bit and then we'll just do one of these numbers, bring it in closer, just like that. Show you what I'm gonna do. Okay, as you can see this might be water, more or less. I'm gonna come right off the tape, pretty smoothly, come across like that. Just keep doing it. Just like that. Very soft. Bring some some of that into the into the white a little bit. Alright. Now that I've got got some of that into the white in the middle, you're gonna come here. And you're going to go a little further that way. Okay. Make it nice and smooth. But not not far here. Then you're going to come in below it. And you're going to bring it out a little bit like that. So it gives that type of illusion. You follow me? Okay. Alright. I'm just going to lightly kind of just do one of those numbers. Okie dokie. Now it's up to you how soft you want to make that. Let's take the, uh, I'll take this little guy. Very soft, very soft, very soft. You can kind of soften all of that if you want to. Now you can take it, actually go in X strokes like this. And all you're doing is making it lighter. That's all. I'm just taking the streaks out of it. Same thing here. Just, you can X stroke like this. X stroke. Very light. Everything depends on, on hand pressure here. Just like that. If you want to take the streaks out, X stroke like that. I'm just showing you guys how to do it right now. I'm just playing around and just getting it, you know. So you can do you can do it yourself. X strokes, X stroke, X stroke. See? It just makes it a little smoother and then there you have it. Alright. So I just I just place the water there if I want the water to stay there. So I have that option to keep that or just get rid of it totally. Alright. There. Okay. Let's continue on. With our dark color here, we're going to get some... Let's get a fan brush here. What size fan brush should I use for this? Uh, I, I, I guess I'll do it with the big guy here. All right, this is a number 10 fan brush right here. All right, we're going to pull back out again. And we're going to bring it right to about, oh, right about there. Hopefully, you guys should be able to see it pretty well. I'll keep it right about here. Okay. All right. Let's go into our deep color here. It's a little bit on the bluish side. Uh, I might want a little more brown. Just a deep little bit just like that 
Remember, I used Process Magenta, Phthalo Blue, and um, the Umber here. Okay, I could thin this paint out a little bit. I could, but I highly doubt it. All right, now I gotta make a choice of. I gotta make a choice here. All right, I made my choice. We're gonna pop one right here. I'll just do this to show you what I'm gonna do here. Right about there. Now I don't really want to get rid of all that fog action. All right, because I I worked hard for that. So we're gonna come up here. We're just establish a little bit of land right now, just like oh, right about. And we'll bring it like past the window, like that. And we'll just keep it. I'll just put a line here, something like that, and we'll have a curve like that. All right. Okay. So we'll concentrate on doing a few trees right here. Now, what I personally like. Actually, let me do this. Hold on, guys. Hold on. There. I personally like my trees in the middle to be a little thick. Okay. So. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Marilyn. But you guys, you, you can always catch the replay. A little thicker in the middle but now it gets interesting you want your outsides the outside is what's gonna have the character to this fella and the further down you go okay the wider obviously the base gets okay I knew I was gonna need some more of this dark I never make enough so if you don't learn anything make enough of the color down here doesn't matter down here just you're just blocking in color here okay you're just blocking in some stuff all in here okay they don't matter it's the trees that I want to uh, have its shape and it's, it's you know darkness and whatnot let's really I'm playing around let's really make some make some uh, I gotta make a lot of this anyway so phthalo blue I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to just make a nice batch of it so I don't have to mess around. Thalo, oops, Thalo blue, burn umber. Put the umber right in there. And I'll just take the, I'll just take the red right from here. And I'm going to just really mix it in. That nice, some nice dark going on here. Nice batch of dark there. Much much better. This is what I should have mixed the first time. All right, here we go. Don't want to get rid of everything, you know. We're gonna have we're gonna vary the size on, on some of these dudes. Let's make this one a little crooked. So we have them come in like this. As long as you guys can see what I'm doing, I'm all good. You're using the corner, the corner of the brush. Okay, don't be afraid. Tap. And I got plenty of paint on the brush too, just like that. You know what? I'm just gonna tap just a little bit, just like like that. So it doesn't necessarily look like it's meeting the ground. It's coming out of the mist. Just like that movie Gorillas in the Mist. Alright. You'll see. I'll put another tree. More solid guy. Right down here. So we'll just actually just make him a little taller. I don't want him necessarily to be the same size. And vary your branches. Make them look kind of interesting there. Okay. And I'm turning the brush around. I got more paint on the other side. And the way I'm making my trees, okay, you see the little gaps in there. So it makes it look like, you know, something can actually land and fly through that thing. Okay. Okay. Um, we'll put a little, little, little tiny baby guy right in there, right there. No matter what size of tree, you're always going to start off with that, the tip of your brush. Okay, just like so. Little fellow, all right. We'll call him Little Foots. And we'll put, eh, we'll put one right here. I know it's on the tape, but that's okay. It's okay if he's on the tape. Don't worry about it. And make him wider. So you're expanding the brush as you go down. Okay, that's all. Let's have one kind of connect to that one. Let's bring it way up here. I'm just getting a little more paint. 
and we're gonna make this tree run into the total into the other tree you'll see okay he's gonna run right into that guy just like this see how I'm mashing right in there with the other fellow makes it look more natural doesn't it okay that's all that's all let's go here for a minute watch what I'm gonna do watch this look watch 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 instant reflection watch watch need more paint just like this okay we even we'll put little foots in there just like that there's a little foot then we got the bigger guy just pop him in there like this just like this okay look crooked crooked miss crooked master we'll put crooked master in there too like that hey he's crooked like that and he's crooked then you got big bird over here big birds coming right down to the bottom he's near us he's he's down there like that all right so let's raise it up you guys can see that okay all right okay I'm gonna still keep this brush right here matted with paint because I'm coming right back to it let us go to a very soft um we go back to the soft brush again very carefully very softly go downward go downward go downward just go down go down with it go down even with the big guy go down just like that okay I'm gonna wipe off the brush all right and here we go right to the side watch softly 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 hoping you guys can see this very soft very soft okay come on down bring it this way with this guy too okay just like that all right no more no less now it looks like you got movement there okay it's not in focus you're doing very well all right back for a second okie dokie let us go mm, we're gonna let's raise it up a little uh, no 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 we're actually perfect let's put it right here all right let's have another batch of trees okay um here let's do it this way I know I'm explaining it to you and everything okay now we got this stuff here let's do something with that all of this eh. here I'll just use my right hand we'll just take it and we'll just blend this now why am I blending this why am I doing one of these numbers it just looks like fog or something we'll just kind of include it go in here like this and make some of that lighter like the fog gets rolling in a little bit there just like this okay just like that and that solved that issue okay well hello Diana how are you that was quite an artist you had there I was watching for a bit there I had quickly forgotten that you were gonna have a second artist on but I did catch a little bit of it of what she was doing and it was very nice then I looked and the scene it was like 5 I was like man I gotta get moving here okay now we got this guy further away this one's gonna come a little closer okay so we'll put oh we'll put the top of it right here just like this we'll just keep messing with the top like that and we'll come here like that all right you need some of that background back there okay and then we'll just take this guy much like the other one we'll just take it and we'll give him a curve like that all right a little closer and we'll just kind of do all of this we'll just kind of make that solid ish just like so okay just like that all right okay am I gonna add any highlights to the trees a little bit well hello Rosemary how are you thank you okay um let's see let's put 
they're a little bit closer so um uh, yeah maybe one about that size so we'll just do with this one we'll just put it here tip of the brush the middle I always want a little dense in the middle but your outside branches are the interesting guys okay just like this and we just put it in there just like that all right let's get these guys a little closer than these fellas so we're gonna kind of we're gonna pop one in right about oh right about here he's crooked too you always gotta have a crooked lawyer tree no offense to all the lawyers who might be watching just like that he's running into the other fella like that all right I'm strategically putting these trees in certain spots so you don't miss the fog you know all that stuff let's put a little baby guy right here he another little foot it's his twin they were separated at birth that's why he's on the other ledge so we got a little little foot right here all right um he's got a nosy step on and she, she's always kind of leaning because she wants to know about everybody's business so we'll put her right there all right just like so all right so let's bring this back and you guys can just raise it up a bit. now you see what we have so far okay let's bring this back down here okay let's get some more paint we're gonna do the same procedure same thing all over again all right let's let's get a nice little reflection we'll do the crooked on first just like this okay then we got little foots number two all right just like so little foots number two okay we got mr. cricket here cricket is just going out this way then you got the big guy right here he's kind of a straight arrow so he's like that all right okay as I'm looking and checking things out, making sure things are okay somewhat, I'm going to rinse off this brush. I don't need this brush for right now. Once I put... I do something with the um, the lines here. Very gently. Can you guys see me? Yeah. Very gently go downward. The three hairs and some air thing. Just like that. You want the indication of seeing them kind of streak downward even the thick paint down here slight indicate I'm wiping off my brush as I um if I'm talking to you now we're gonna go from the right to the left all right here we go very very lightly very lightly like that very lightly very lightly just like so all right just like that okay let's um let me get rid of this for a hot second okay let's spread this out just a little bit so you guys can kind of catch most of this all right hello Madonna how are you the Lori files how are you thanks for coming in guys appreciate it okay let's put a little bit of highlight on on all of the trees here so let's move it up like that hopefully that catches everything and I'm still in focus with you guys all right um let's take a little bit of white put it right oh you guys can't see it I'm taking titanium white inside the dark mix I already had and I'm putting a little yellow in it that turns it um this kind of weird greeny color I'm getting a little bit of water not not um gl uh, glycerin all right because glycerin to make it stay wet I don't need it to stay wet I'm putting plenty of water into this mix the reason why I wanted it to dry okay and um a lighter thinner paint will stick to the thicker globbier stuff all right 
okay now I'm taking once again same same technique it's just a different color and remember the lighter side is on the left all right you see the the lightness of the mountains in the back even though they're very light you still know where the light source is everything's to the left all right and we're going to maintain that so just a slight little tap now I don't want to destroy all of the dark and I'm just now bring some of that green on the other side but the majority of it kind of stays to its left I'm taking the brush I'm just going in different minute little directions interesting little patterns here and there just like so okay oh no I took the palette away I took the palette away so you can see more of what I'm going to do because I'm going to just do it in one shot that's the only reason why I did take it away I'm not going to highlight this the crooked fellow that's in the fog there I'm not gonna I'm not gonna he's gonna stay in the back anything that's dark like that if you leave it dark it will seem it will recede you follow me so it stays in the back and I don't have to be um, very wild with the um, the tree color okay that won't be necessary that's why I don't have it so blatantly um, um, bright green and remember this is wet once it dries it settles in even more okay just like that if you want I'll pop the uh, other camera back on I just wanted to show you me um, doing this it's a quick, quick highlights remember don't be afraid to put some of that green on the other side of the tree even though it's, it's dark over there and I might as well do, do this while I'm at it I'm gonna throw some light grasses in there just a little press just like that. This is, I'm not going to cover all of it with grass, but just a little bit. Just a wee bit. A little touch there. Alright, we're going to go right to the other side here. Remember, we're going to continue with the left side. I'll pop, this, I'll pop the uh, other camera back on because Diana went into a panic. There. Okay. Let's uh, position this there. Okay, let's slide it over a little bit. Okay, there you go, Diana. Camera's back. Once again, right on the left-hand side. Just light. Okay, just like that. This one here, I'm going to keep them back there. That's little foot's number two. He's going to stay in the dark. Just like that. I'm gonna get another little little bit of water. This paint's pretty thick. Mm, right here. Can you guys see that? Yes, you can. Uh, I'm gonna look at the uh, chat in a second. If you guys can't see anything, holler at me. Let me know, and then I'll 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 make the adjustments. Just like, don't be afraid to bring some on the other side. Okay. Okay, Diana, um, I did hear your echo, and it seems like you got two, it sounds like you got two, either like two of the same programs running at the same time, which is causing the echo, um, yeah, usually if you listen to it through headphones, that would usually work, but maybe in your computer, well, you got a Mac, so I don't know, because I used to have an issue like that with Windows, and, um, usually, um, it has an issue to do with the sound card um because sometimes some programs operate from their own little sound unit and you might have to shut one off because you know one one sound unit wants to be the hog and, and take control of everything but then the other one wants to take control of everything and then now you got a super issue of two hogs fighting each other and then you get that disturbing echo but that's what happened with me i don't know if, if it's the same premise with you or not so you know i really don't know but that's used, that used to happen to me a while back. If you didn't use your your YouTube channel, that could be very well the issue. And why you got the the? It sounds like feedback. It's not feedback. It's just 
both of whom are working at the same time. And one always wants to be a control. Always. Okay, let's take some of this light green. And we're going to pop in some of that light green in here. Because obviously, you know, it is reflecting this stuff. Now, I have to work quickly with this because there's no glycerin. So it just goes straight downward like that. Okay. I could make it a little bit brighter, but the brightness won't. It won't matter. I got it in the dark here. Just like that. And I'm lightly just bring it downward. Just like that. I just want it to see that you got color in here. Okay. That's all. That's all I, I need to do. But of course, you guys couldn't see it because I got to get, uh, I got the big box that Diana requested to be returned. So you guys missed all of that. So I'll do the same thing over here. <laughs> I love passing the buck. Just like that. Very softly. Here, I'll show you. I'll just exaggerate it here in the corner here. Just like that. All right. Then I'll just take it very lightly and just go straight down, straight downward. Don't make it go crooked. Straight down, just like that. Okay, and that's all you need to do. Now here comes the fun part, sweetheart. This is the part I like. I'm not talking about rinsing the brush. That was a Bob Ross thing. Okay, let's get the old X-Acto knife or um the um. We're gonna clear out some of this mud here. I'll just wipe it on my towel here. I don't need that. Let's get what's left of the titan oh, the titanium white. Just like that. I'm going to need some more. I don't even know why I'm playing with it. Beat the devil out of it. <laughs> yeah. That guy. You guys know I used to emulate that dude. So, um, in, in my... I used to rent out the bottom of a house. And um, I had my easel in the dining room. That lets you know how much company I had. Um... And yeah, I beat the devil out of it all right. And I did not cover the wall to the left. I didn't cover the wall to the right. And I did not cover the rug. So guess where all that beautiful paint spray went? Especially when I moved and I looked at the damage I've done. Let's just say I didn't get my security deposit back. <laughs> okay, let's take a little bit of this white. Oh, hold on, hold on. We don't need to look at the trees. I think we're good right here. You guys can see everything. Okay, I have this little bit of white right here. Okay, you guys can definitely see it right there. All right. Oh no! Yes, he does actually explain it. What he said was um, to make sure you aim that stuff in the bucket. Um, or you got a lot to explain to your wife a little later. He said all sorts of cute things to let you know that it does make a mess. Um, but yeah, yeah, he did. He did say it makes it makes a it makes a drastic mess. I want to take this now. Remember, I'm on canvas, so I can be a little more forceful. I'm gonna take my canvas, my knife. I'm gonna press it into the canvas. All right, you can see me pressing, and then I'm gonna just go traveling with it. Just travel, have fun. Now, when it goes to that curve, all right. I'm just going to kind of come out, come in, come out, come in, like so. All right, yeah, that's about all I need to do with that. All right, I'm going to do it again on the other side here. Uh, no, I have to be backwards. I have to go in reverse. I'm, no, it won't work that way for me. I have to go this way. If I'm going in reverse, I'm a lefty, really. I'm going in reverse. This is kind of backwards just like that and boom I'm gonna brighten up that one side I shouldn't have did it that way hold on hold on I gotta do it with my right hand hold on hold on hold on hold on this will happen this will work better I'll just take it and just kind of make a nice little wavy thing happening there just like that okay all right actually I'm ambidextrous but it's just it's just easier for me to do certain things with my right hand, but I can I can paint with both hands. I just don't talk about it much because people will be like, "What are you doing?" Okay, I'll take some little water ripple sparkly things. We're gonna go across like that. I'll go all the way across like that. I'll bring some like right around here like that. All right. 
All right, let's do that again. Actually, I don't like that part right there. This here, when you get something like that going on, like that, make it disappear like that. Make it disappear and then you just kind of wipe it away. All right, nobody will know the difference, trust me. And then just go over it. There we go, I like that. Okay, we're gonna go here, we're gonna do the same thing. Just like that, go around the cross if you want to. Go on here, do the same thing. A little press there. So now the water looks like glass. You follow me? All right. Okay. Um, we're almost there. Almost, not quite, but we're almost there. Now some people like, um, let's move it up here for one second, right about here. Now some people like to have a uh, little, uh, the, um, the, uh, what the hell you call those? The trunks. I don't particularly care for them. I don't like them. Some people do, so I'll, 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 I'll make pretend that I care, and I'll put, I'll put something there like this, just something like that, and maybe close up to the top like that. All right, man, no, nah. and I'll, I'll put a little something right in there like that, and then something like that. I'm keeping it kind of dark brownish white, um, but it's in there, something like that, and maybe one right up at the top. I don't particularly care for it. Maybe it looks cool for some people. Some things appeal to certain certain people, and some things don't. This don't, but people do like it. And I'll, you know, if it's what they want in their in their trees, I have no objection to that. I mean, that's what they're paying for, you know. So something like that. All right. Some people like that. I I just, yeah, you know, everybody got their um. <laughs> Yeah, I used to do that too. Um, put them in here, then paint over it. Then I'll go like, <laughs> what's the use? Why you do it the first time? Okay, we're at ninety-nine point nine percent finished with this. Okay, Ian, how are you, sir? It's good to see you, boss. Okay, we're we're gonna pull this back a little bit. All right. Now we're like ninety-nine point nine percent finished with this. Now, Diana, I'm taking this away now. Say goodbye to it, Diana. Goodbye. All right. Okay. Because we're so close to the end anyway. Okay. Now. Yeah, we're fairly close. But there was something I want to show you because most of you have just uh, popped in. Okay. Okay. Now I can... Um, I can put a giant tree in here or I can just leave it nice and open. I presume I should leave it nice and open. But I'm gonna let you guys decide. Oh Diana had to split. Okay Diana. Okay, leave it open. I got one person that says leave it open as a begin. And if I leave it open, it will stay open. That means I'll just skip to the final part. Oh, you're still here? Okay. But now it says leave it open. All right, everybody likes that nice airiness to it, I take it. Okay, cool. Then we'll, we'll go right to the final part. All right. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Uh, let us take... A mm, ah, we'll take the round brush here. All right, here we go. I'm gonna need some water. I'm gonna get some white titanium. Um, of course, it's titanium white. I just need a little, little, little watery here. Now, watch what I'm gonna do here. Now, I haven't done this in a minute. That doesn't mean I don't know how to do it. It's just I haven't done this in a, in a while. All right. Uh, let's start it. Let's do one right around in here. Watch this. You guys ready? Of course you're not ready, but... Matter of fact, let me zoom in. I'll show you here. I'll zoom in as far as I can without... Let's do it like from right here for right now. All right, ready? Here we go. Watch. Watch. Bet you guys don't know what the heck I'm doing here. We're going to keep it just like that. 
alright and then I'm going to just take the inside edge I'm going to just destroy that edge and wipe it right across just like this just wipe it across just like that just like so then I'm going to take a nice glob of paint and I'm going to put the little dot right in there like that alright let's get some more of that watery paint and we'll go go we'll put one right here like that and just have it circle out like that I'm gonna wipe my brush really quick doesn't take long to do these and then I'm gonna destroy that inside edge just like that destroy the inside edge just like that and then I'm gonna take some of the thicker paint and we're gonna pop a dot right there like that oh we're not done we're gonna have a bunch of fun with this alright and we'll go down keep going down here and we'll put one right here in the water like this just like that and get it pretty thin like that okay we're gonna destroy the inside can you guys see that yeah you can see it destroy the inside edge all right I forgot that this guy I don't know if you guys can hear him singing he's like a uh, black Rush Limbaugh he's hilarious very controversial all right, so I think you guys can hear them pretty good. All right, and then we'll put a little dot right in there. Okay. Mm, all right, three on that side is fine. Let's move over. And we're going to get some more titanium white. We're going to mix it in here. All right. And we're going to do one. Oh, let's do one right here. Let's have a short one right here like that. Have a short one just like that. I wipe off the brush every 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 uh, water drip, dew drop, or whatever. And yes, get rid of the get rid of the inside edge. Be very careful. All right. And then I just get another dot of white, pop it right in there like that. All right. Now I'm gonna do something else to make it stand out. But give me a give me a second though, because I will. You can handle this just like you would handle a leaf. All right. You'll, you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. Now, uh, let's go here. And we'll go here. I know they look, look a, a little thick, but remember, I'm going to destroy that inside edge. Now, as you destroy the inside edge, it leaves a uh, film. Alright, so it kind of it kind of takes the color out of there a little bit. Which is what it would look like if you seen drips in a rindle. Alright. What room in the house are we looking up? Brother, it can be any window. I don't care. It can be the bathroom window for all I care. I don't know. <laughs> the doghouse window. It don't matter. I don't know. Whatever window you guys want it to be, um, it's fine with me. Uh, we'll put a little trailer in there like that. And maybe up here. I know you guys can't see it. I'm just doing little, little spots of brightness in there here and there okay something like that okay um but if i pan it you guys get to see what it looks like it's starting to look like there all right all right let's go up here right to the top up there oh well, yeah we'll start on this side it's okay all right we'll get some more of this uh white paint here okay we'll go over here in the upper corner can you guys see it yes you guys can see it I'm starting off the tape, off the tape, and we'll put one right in here like this. But you know what? We'll have one running crooked here. He just runs crooked, looking all crazy like that. Don't know why. Just because I want to. Okay, destroy the inside edge. See that? Get rid of that inside edge. All up in here. Get rid of that inside edge just like this and I'll watch what I'm gonna do a little bit later in a few minutes oh yes a big glob of white paint here and, and one glob of white paint right in there like that and one right up in there like a big old healthy glob of paint I can probably use some of that for the next ones oh we'll put uh we'll put a, a regular circuit one right here look like a football just like that just one out of nowhere just plop it right there and get rid of the inside edge 
You see how it kind of diffuses the middle? Just like that. Alright. And then once again, actually, actually, let's try that brush off. Let's borrow some from over here. Let's borrow that. Put it right in there like that. Okay. Um. I would be remiss to leave that out. Plus, I wanted to show you something anyway. To the people who stuck with me in the beginning, remember, your eyes think that this is totally white. And I'm going to prove to you, no, it's not. Look at this. You see, I bet you can see that, huh? See? Not as white as you think. I told you. Your eyes think that that's totally white, and it's not. That's totally white. Okay. Isn't that neat? Isn't that just great? Or you can just call me a crackpot. And then we'll put a nice dab of dot of stuff right there. Okay, let's take... We're 99.9% .9 done. Alright. We are... We're like, like three inches away from the ticker tape there. Let's take... Um, I got my uh, script liner brush. I'm taking a little brown, believe it or not. Little brown, oh man, you gotta be kidding me. I don't have any more blue. This is so sad. I ought to write Congress for my mistake here. I need a dot of phthalo blue for the last like 0 0.2 minutes of, of the video. So sad. It's just embarrassingly sad. Alright, actually, what I'm doing, I'm getting a little brown, a little bit of blue, and a very steady hand. Watch. Watch this. Careful. Very careful. Very careful. Yep. A very little bit of an outline on the very bottom end. I gotta be very careful. Tape is not porous. Can you guys see this? I hope you can. Actually, you guys can. Okay, cool. Yes, you got that little baby piece of little itty bitty cash shadow. Okay, we're gonna come down here. Um, you guys can't see it down there. Let's. We did that one. Let's go straight. Let's go straight down. Down here, to these guys. All right. Red knight still on the bottom, even though it's got the, the greenery there, just like so. And we'll trail a little bit on one side and one side only. Don't do the whole thing. Don't do both sides. Pick a side. Okay. Thank goodness for long fingers. I got these long spider fingers so I can kind of get away with doing little things like this. And we'll, we'll give it a little line here. Just on one side. I'm not going to do all of them like that. Because it's getting near the end and I'm getting lazy. To be honest with you. Alright, we got one here on the bottom. I think you guys can see that guy down there. Uh, yes you can. Now see that little outline? Oh, yeah. That will make the difference. Wait till you see when I take take the tape off. I can darken this a little bit. Now remember, if you put too much glycerin on, the paint sits on this stuff. All right, and it will spread apart. Just be mindful of that. Okay, we got five more to do, but it only takes a second. All right, here we go. Oh, can you guys see that on this side? No, you cannot. So let's move it right here. There we go. And here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Just like that. You don't need too, too much of this. Oh, we'll give it a little, little, little piece of one over there like that. I'm getting more paint as I do this. Even where it's dark at, down here on the bottom, I'm going to still do it anyway. There. Even though it's dark there, I'll, I'll still do it. Got two more right here. Right up here. Uh, there we go. Alright, final two guys. Final two. Thank you guys for watching with me. I do appreciate it. If you're interested in purchasing this or any other, other uh, works that I've done, I do have a catalog. It is on my Facebook page. Um, if you check into photos, it's a, its own separate catalog all by itself. And yes, it's updated very frequently. 
Matter of fact, I can't even show the latest two I did. They're already sold. Um, I can't show them until after um, Valentine's Day. All right, guys. Here we go. Um, well, got to do what we call the most important part. So bear with me for a second. And then we'll peel off the tape and we'll really see what it looks like here. I might have to sign my initials on it real quick. Let's, let's throw this up. Let's put this back, 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 back like this. We're almost there. We're almost done. For those of you who just came in or haven't been here too long, it's a 16 by 20 inch canvas this time. Acrylic paint. All right. Um, 16 by 20 inch canvas, acrylic paint. there let's see all right and that 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 let's turn this into a two and a zero and another two there we go all right here we go thank you Lori let's see with oh Lori who else is here that might be kind of new. Um, Shelly Howe. For those of you who don't know um, Ianopoulos, he's from Australia. And click on his name and uh, hit that bell and that subscribe button. And you'll be very impressed with what you see. Alrighty. Let's peel this stuff and see what we got, guys. Now, glycerin tends to seep through this masking tape, so I don't know how well it has covered, um, it, um, blocked the glycerin, but we're going to find out right now. Let's see here. All right. I got to be very careful because the tape is wrapped around. Just gotta be careful. And peel that off. Like so. So it should look like a framed window. As long as I do it right. You know, mess it up with my fingerprints. And as you see, when I'm pulling the tape, especially if you're dealing with paper. You pull it down and away from you, or up and away from you. Because acrylic paint will leave a film on it. And if you if you go the opposite direction, if you go into your work, it may <laughs> tear into your work. And that would just be a bad look, and it would send you into a fit of depression, and we have to call the hotline for you. So we don't want to do that. I know some of you guys are like clenching your teeth, hoping I don't screw this up. I'm clenching, but not my teeth. Okay, there we go. There. Okay, that looks pretty successful. All right, but, well, there you go. Okay. Now, like I say, some of this is bleached out because of the uh, studio, the lights. Okay, it's a little bleached out here, a little bleached out there. I'm going to take a picture of it in a few minutes, and I'm going to... Put it, I'm going to place it in my uh, Facebook um, page and I'll post it on Ian's site. Okay. Um, you guys can take a good look at it. But there you have it. I don't even know what to name it yet. But I thank you for watching and checking it out. I hope that you've uh, it's helped you out and you learned a little bit from it. And um, showed you about depth, uh, distance. Um, a little bit of perspective of how you get your motion lines and whatnot, how you do your trees. And I didn't want my trees overly bright, that didn't need to be. Um, got the little water droplets all over the place. Showed you how to quickly do the clouds, how to make a mountain almost seem miles and miles away by keeping it very close to the uh, colors of your of your sky. 
okay and just a little bit of detail to give it some cragginess or whatnot even you even still see the light source a little bit even though it's miles away then you got the smaller mountain like in front got a little bit of fog you see the fog in between the trees all of that stuff a you know, little reflection there. you even got what appears to be a little cloud reflection in there okay and I decided I almost decided not to put any water in it at all all right but um there you have it and thank you peel and lift well I don't have it I never had it taped in the back okay so if I would have peeled and lift it would have peeled and went this way that's why I was holding on with it with both hands usually if I'm working with a canvas I'll take the backboard off and I'll just latch it and then you know I can do whatever I want with it um I just didn't do it okay guys so thank you all so very much for sticking with me and um um checking this out we went uh, along with the ride um I didn't put any birds or any little eagles flying through not today um maybe next time but thank you guys oh yeah oh yeah Lori I've I've done it live in the whole picture the whole painting fell on the ground um, it fell on me all sorts of bloopers but those bloopers actually stay I, didn't, I never cut them away they are, they're actually there I did a whole bunch of mistakes but I also showed how to correct them when you do uh, mistakes so but this one this one came out pretty good this one's cool Let's say okay thank you guys I appreciate it take care and I shall see you my premiere I got a premiere Monday 7 o'clock uh, Eastern Standard Time it's already been pre-recorded and everything um I'll be in the chat room and we can have a lot of fun and chat and talk and whatnot. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. I'll see you when I see you. And peace. Thank you, Lori. And uh, Rosemary and Ian and Diana. Thank you very much for watching.